We're on a secret mission right now, guys. We are at an abandoned golf course, I think. House is behind me, but over here, all of this used to be a golf course. There are ponds around here. Who knows what's in them? We're about to find out. I see a pond over here. It's not looking good. This is what exploring is all about, guys. You never know what you're gonna find. Here's the first source of water that there's stuff in here. There's something in here. Look at this, look at this. Right here in this little puddle. Do you see that? That right there? That's a big ass snapping turtle. Not what we're looking for, but there is life in here. Here's a pond. Man, this is not looking too good. The first pond that I've seen is looking extremely tiny and dried up. In theory, there could be something in here. I don't think there is, but we're gonna throw our bait around and see what we can find. All right, we need a bait. Oh, something froggy. A lot of matted vegetation. You know what? I haven't done this in a while. Let's try out the live target mouse. If we can get one single bite from here, just one to let me know this fish, that would be amazing. All right, cast number one's going in. This is like a little mud puddle. I'm honestly very skeptical about there being anything living in here. This isn't good. That pond's too shallow. This pond right next to it. I mean, you guys probably can't tell, but I'm telling you for a fact, less than half an inch deep throughout this entire pond. It's almost a dried up mud puddle. How crazy would that be if there was like a five pounder in this little mud hole right here? It smells gross. I don't see any signs of anyone else fishing out here. Very unusual spot that I found on Google Maps. What do we've got here? This pond actually looks a little more promising. The water clarity is poop, but this actually looks relatively deep. There could be something living in here. Come on. One bite. Just let me know there's still fish living. This is an abandoned golf course. Oh, 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 we got fish. I got, oh, we got, oh, we got fish in here, guys. We've got freaking fish in here. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. There's actually fish living in here. I cannot freaking believe it. <laughs> That's freaking nuts. That was on my second cast of this little pond. I knew this one was looking better. I knew it. Oh. I got hit. That's a fish. There's fish in here. He got it. He got it. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Get out of there. Get out of there. No! Oh, he broke me off. Oh, there he is. I see him. I see him. He's swimming away. That's my only mouse. We got time on a frog. Let's just go with the killer gill color right here. No skirt. Make hookups a little easier. I feel a lot better now. That first bite, I wasn't sure if it was a snapping turtle or a fish, but that second bite, 100%, it was a fish. Now we gotta land something. I mean, getting a bite is one thing, getting them out, it's a whole nother story. Oh, he's a... Got him this time. Yes! Yes! Get in the boat! Bah! Guys, this is not a trophy fish. This is not the 10 pound monster I was dreaming of when I thought about coming here, but this is a healthy looking chunk. Look at him, well fed, about a pounder. I mean, look, at this, look how small the mouth is. This is a young fish and it's really fat. That gives me hope that somewhere in this abandoned golf course, there is a monster and we're gonna find it. Oh, I see a frog. Oh, look at that little frog. What we have to do is we got to throw it out there because look how shallow it is here. I don't want it to like die and not be able to get back. So see you, bud. Thanks for being number one. Off she goes. No more bites. Left the previous pond. Walked by three or four other ponds. Way too shallow. But look at this, guys. Right in front of me. This pond is the juiciest looking pond I've seen thus far. Tons of pads. 
the deepest water. I mean, that could be three, four feet deep in the middle easily. This might be the one where we find a giant. Let's check this out over here. I don't know why. I'm getting some weird vibes right now. Like something unusual is gonna happen. I don't know, just a weird feeling. <sighs> oh, jeez, Louise. Super treacherous back here. I mean, look what I'm walking through. All this stuff is thorny. Look at that tick. That's a stink bug. I mean, I'm probably covered in ticks right now, but if I can catch some nice fish, it'll be 100% worth it. And look at this back here. We're at the same pond still, but completely different conditions. A lot of wood, not nearly as many pads. I've taken off the frog and I've put on a white quarter ounce swim jig. Gonna swim it around the wood and hope I can find that beast. Oh, I got one. Oh, jeez, he took it. I knew it. I got it. Get in here. I got a little too hyped. I thought it was a monster. I saw that fish come out from next to the log and annihilate this swim jig. I mean, this is a well-fed fish. Yes, it's only about pound. It might be pound and three quarters. Short and fat, chode-like, if I may say myself. But look at that thing. That thing is built like a little tank. Very full belly. Something's going on in these ponds here, guys. Something's going on. And I need to get to the bottom of it. Thank you, my friend. Give you a nice gentle release. Whoop. Oh. Hey, bro, off. There's a giant. That was a snakehead. That might have been a snakehead. It was a freaking monster. Guys. I kid you not, that may have been a snakehead. It broke me clean off. I saw, uh, it, it was a giant, it was like this long. It was a two foot long dark figure, darted out from the wood, grabbed my bait, I set the hook, clean freaking break. Look at that, clean, clean break off right here. Are there snakeheads in here? There might be snakeheads in here. We gotta get retied. I'm freaking hyped now, I'm freaking hyped. We cannot afford another break off, guys. I'm putting on a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, improved Albright knot, create a loop with the fluorocarbon, take your braid, put it through, wrap it around five times, one, five, like that. Then what you do, take the braid, go back up five times, weaving in between, one, two, three, four, and five. Go back out the loop, tighten it down, and now you have a leader knot that will never ever break on you. Never ever break, guaranteed. This guy is strong as an ox. I'm not gonna tie on another swim jig. I'm actually gonna tie on a spinner bait. I just have a good feeling. The spinner bait might be the deal. Cloudy, muddy water. I mean, seems like perfect spinner bait conditions. And that wire will help protect me in case that was actually a snakehead, which I'm 90% sure it was a snakehead. I'm gonna throw another cast. Right along this log. Oh, he's a, he just hit it again. It's a snakehead. It hit it again. It hit it again. It's a, it's a snakehead. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding, you guys. Come on. It's a giant snakehead. I got him. Snakehead. It's, it's a bass. It's a bass. It's a, it's not a, that was not the big one. That was not the big one. This is crazy. This is freaking nuts. That was not, that's not the giant. That's not the giant. Trust me, guys. I wouldn't lie to you. I saw something that was two feet long dart out from that log. Look, this guy's got no bait in his mouth. This is not the one I'm talking about. This is a nice fish. Not the one we're looking for though. Are we gonna put him over here? All right, let's jump down. Oh, oh my gosh, look how muddy it is. All right, we're gonna let him go right here. Stay away from my fish, please. All right, good, good. All right, now we gotta get back. Oh my God, we gotta get back up. Gotta get back up. Uh, 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 gotta get back in there. Uh, I spined myself. Gotta get back in there. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is absolutely wild. This is, I've never seen anything like this before. Any moment, we can hook the fish of a lifetime out of here. Who knows how big the fish are in here? No one fishes out here. Have not seen any trace of any fisherman. The anticipation right now. I actually feel adrenaline coursing through my veins in anticipation of catching a monster. Oh, 
Oh, ah, oh, little baby. Oh, not the one I was looking for, but we'll take it. I mean, the way I caught it is kind of cool. There we go. Spinnerbait bass, another chunk. I mean, these guys are clearly have a ton of forage. I don't know what they're eating, but there's a lot of it. So let me tell you guys what I've been doing. I've made over a hundred casts at this exact same spot. You guys can see I'm throwing a spinner bait in this thick, thick wood. I'm basically just trying to ram my bait into as many branches as possible. And look at this, look at, look at this bait. The hooks are completely exposed. I even have a trailer hook, have not even snagged one time. Cause this, see the safety pin style arm? What happens is this bait comes by, hits the branch, deflects off, and the hooks don't even get close to snagging. I can literally throw this in whatever type of wood I want. Every cast, I'm smacking it right into these logs. And apparently after the 25th, 50th time, I got that little guy to hit. It's not surprising because these fish are obviously well fed. So in order to get them to strike, I think the best course of action is to create a reaction strike, which is exactly what I'm doing with this spinner bait log banging technique. Oh, there's another one. That one's, this is, what the hell? This is not a bass. This is not a bass. It's not, it's a, oh, oh, oh. Snake it! Oh, wait, is that snake it? Snake it! I got my first snake it in Maryland in my life. I told you guys, there are snake it in it. I told you guys. I freaking told you guys. I told you guys. I told you guys. Stick it. Oh, we got a freaking snake head out of this little pond. And they're a giant. That means that two foot snake head was a monster. There are monster snake heads in here. Oh, holy Kabajizo. Holy Mano. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. All right. I regain. No. I've almost regained my composure. Ah, let me show you guys what we've got here. This is the first Northern snakehead I've ever caught in my home state of Maryland. I've tried many times, come up short, but today finally got one. This is a beautiful specimen, not a big one. This is actually on the smaller side. Invasive species, I mean, it got the name snakehead because if you look at the pattern on his body, it looks pretty much just like a boa constrictor. So this fish is uh, very, very beautiful, very aggressive, hard to catch because they actually have very small mouths. They like to aggressively attack the bait, but they won't always be able to get it in their mouths. So let's go ahead and get this hook out. Oh my gosh. Look in here, guys. Look at those chompers in there. Absolutely huge mouth full of chompers. That's almost scary looking. I'm gonna use my pliers to get the hook out because I do not want to get bit by those. Oh man, we're not even messing with them anymore. I'm gonna give you guys one final look at the body of the snakehead. Beautiful fish right here. We're gonna let him go. So a lot of people are like, oh, you shouldn't let these fish go. I'm like, they're great fighters. They're here to stay. They've already established themselves. No need to kill a beautiful, perfect game fish. The crazy thing about these fish is they can live out of water for multiple days, which allows them to rapidly expand into multiple bodies of water. I mean, they basically eat all the same stuff that a largemouth bass does. I don't really know the correct answer, whether you should kill it or let it go. You guys can comment down below. Let me know your opinion. I let that one go and we're going to try to catch some more. Tied back up, straighten our wire back out. It's perfect. Trailer hook's still good. Guys, I'm going to apologize to you right now. I've only looked at about seven of the 15 ponds at this abandoned golf course, but I'm telling you right now, I'm not leaving this spot and I'm not switching baits because I've had multiple snake heads bite me and I, I want to catch a giant one. So we'll come back here another day and I will explore all the ponds that this place has to offer. But for today, we're focusing on snake heads. So bear with me. Hopefully we can catch a monster. You know what? Come to think of it, I don't even know how snakeheads got into this little pond. I mean, this pond's not big. There's one end, there's the other end. There's no river anywhere. How the heck did the snakeheads get into here? I know they can survive on land for multiple days. And in the event of a giant flood, they can move on land a little bit to travel. But I am just shocked that there's actually snakeheads in here. Oh, 
Oh, there's another fish. Oh, it's not a snakehead. It's a deep, it's a good bass. Man, this little pond is loaded. I'll take this fish all day long. Get it, oh my God, it's a dude. Oh, I can't boat flip it. Can't boat flip it. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Gee, this pond has everything. You know what? We're going for it. Please, Dobbins, don't let me down. Ah! Right there, guys. This is what exploring is all about. But either way, this is a beautiful fish. It looks a teeny bit skinny, but we'll take it. Get in the mud for you. Give you a nice gentle release. Ah, thank you for that fight. That was a good one. Woo! There she goes. Back into the mud pit. Awesome day of adventure. I honestly, when I walked out here and saw that first pond, my heart sank. But now, I mean, you never know where you're gonna find hidden gems, guys. That's why you gotta go out there, explore, throw your bait in the water. I mean, even right there in the middle, it's only like two feet deep. You never know where you're gonna find quality fish. That's the lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace.